Uh, uh, uh. Did I stop at this faith to knowledge by the and to another the word of knowledge by the same spirit? All right, that's enough of that. If uh, if I was taught that there, that a long time ago that if um, if somebody wasn't faithful in their job, let me try to get my words out here right, that their gift would be taken from them and it would be given to somebody that was faithful. Do you believe that that's accurate? well? Uh, yeah, I got a scripture for that. Yeah, the scripture says that he'll take even what you think you have. He did say that in Luke eight. Uh, they do say gifts and calling to God are without repentance. So God can give it, but that don't mean that uh, God can't, you know, won't allow that to work through you. He can use it, give it to what somebody who's faithful with it. That's why I believe Paul gave God gave Paul what he had as a, as much as he gave him because his faithfulness to God. You see, God had put that in him. You know, that faithfulness. He knew Paul and used everything he gave him. To one is five, one to two, one is one. What? That's God severally as he will. But he's given that five because he knows that person, with that, that person has an ability. It don't make the other ones no less. But that person just has an ability to uh, handle, handle uh, that and do that. So, but if he ain't using that, why would he give you something else? Want to give it to, or maybe probably the proper rendering is that he probably just uh, utilized somebody else who has that, you know, with context dealing with gifts and calling to God or without repentance, saying that what he gave you, he, you know, he... Brother Gary said that... Um if you have that gift to manifest, would you always have that gift, or would it be something that maybe you got, like you know what I mean, like later in life, or? No, if God gave it to you. Got it whenever he, he you would always. It. Yeah, he gave it to you. Gave it to you. It's just, just the developing of that. When God called me, He gave me a, a gift. Now I have to develop that gift. Well, you called me, Lord. You know, I got to pick my Bible up too. You called me, Lord. Yeah, but you got to pray too. Yeah, you know. So, you know what I'm saying? Just because he gave, called you and gave you a gift, that don't mean that, you know, you can just be carnal, uh, watch all of the, the stuff on TV and never be uh, seeking the Lord, reading your Bible, getting into a realm where God can Elder Adams, talk to you. The, um, a, th a thought that may help with that, and it, and it may not, is, is, is that each saint, as a and God just predetermined that, you know, each saint has a certain capacity in the kingdom. Say it again. Each saint has a certain capacity. Okay. Capacity. In, explain that. A capacity is how I know what capacity yeah, is, but yes, yeah, sir, is a, 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 a certain ability that they can reach to their their limit. You know, Apollos was where he could be. You know, he couldn't be Paul, but he could be as much as he could be in Apollos, and John could be as much as he could be. He couldn't be Jesus, but he, he lived to his capacity. Mm -hmm. so, so as we get these things, um, if a person's given more ability to do, then that person should do. Because if they don't, then they detract from the kingdom. Right. Because not everybody has, not, like everyone can't lead. Mm -hmm. They say the leaders must lead because not everybody is given the ability, the, 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 the um, charisma, the ability to, to the whole crowd, the ability to influence, to inspire. Right. That's from God. Right. You know, a person just can't, I mean, you can practice all you want, but if you can't, it's, some men have it, mm -hmm. and very few really, and some women may have it, but very few really have it where they can really move people with their, with their voice mm -hmm. or with their words. And a person has that, then to be useful in the kingdom, they have to use that mm -hmm. as, you know, in, their, in their limit. But if someone doesn't have whatever their gift is, 
if they extend themselves, and that's when you talk about we get out of place. Right. If I go outside of my capacity to what God's given me, and I stand up and try to teach on something sure. outside of my range, then now it, it muddies the water. Right. But if my gift is to minister, to preach, and, and to exhort, and that's my we always saw with Brother Harden. Whenever he tried to teach, it went sideways. Right. That wasn't his gift. Mm-hmm. Just wasn't. I mean, well, he exhorted. Yeah, he had the word of God, but when he went out of his capacity, then it went sideways. And it, but when he was in his capacity, like it was in Haiti, when he was in that spot, yeah, God could use him. And and as, and I think that's what we're striving for. And sometimes it can seem as if the gift is 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 there and gone. But I think it's oftentimes we operate in our gift. You're like, wow. Then when we operate outside of it, like. What happened? what happened to it? What happened to Where? it? It didn't go anywhere. It's just our learning right. is, 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 is growing. I have a question for what he said. Some of y'all have some looks on y'all face. Uh, out there. Some people grasp differently. Terminology. That's why you hear sometimes you go at something from this angle, you go at something from this angle, you go from this angle, you go from this angle, because people are from all different angles. And see, and that's why we was taught to watch the Spirit, and, uh, and of course, we're watching what God is doing, and then I'm watching the attention span of people. And people with short attention span, if you saying the right things from the Spirit, you'll watch them even get connected. Amen. And then, you know, you just, you got to make sure that you, oh, you got your mic? Oh, I see you with the mic. Go ahead. I ain't through. I mean. I I had a question before Desi. Oh, you got a question for Desi? No, before he said what he said, I was asking a question. You going to ask Desi a question? No, I was going to ask you a question. Oh, okay. But I don't know if I'll throw it off. It's dealing with Desi made a statement. I don't know what question you throw. I would Ask your question. And we'll find out where to throw it off. Or whatever. No, nah, I was when you were talking about the um, the nine whatever gifts that were for the ministry or whatever and, or whatever you said. Um, I was I had the question about in um, in Matthew ten and sixteen when it talked about. When he was sending them for the twelve, yeah, and now is that so? He's only going to send you guys in the midst of wolves, and we and you <laughs> and you're the only ones that got to be. Is that well, that was that was the twelve there? Yes. Okay. Contextually, that was the twelve. Yeah, that's who he's talking to. Jesus' audience was always those twelve apostles. That's who his. That's who his. That's who his thing was. But he, but when he gave them that information, he brought they took that information back to the people, and he told them people, y'all gonna be thrown amongst wolves. He told them, but when he got it from the father, the father gave it to Jesus, and Jesus gave it to the disciples, and he got he gave it to them that were sitting down on the grass and eating. So it's just a chain, see, for the perfecting of the saints, for the for the work of the ministry, you see. And so when Jesus' audience, he was, that's what his main audience was his, he, uh, you didn't see Jesus preaching to the multitudes. He was talking to the, his, uh, his ministry. And then his ministry took the words. He said, now you get this from them that have it. He gave it to them. And then, of course, later on, Meriden was there, so Meriden got it. You know, Martha them got it, you know. And no doubt uh, they carried on. And uh, Phoebe, 16th chapter of Romans, they got it. He said, hey, she labored with me. So, you know, don't. This is where when we move into the, this phase, the next phase, this is for the body of Christ, 144,000, the bride members, that's going to be a part of it. So it's, uh, it's for everybody to get it. Get this knowledge. Get this wisdom. Operate in it. So it's for. Have a question. And then we don't have it. It's what God gives us. Yeah. 
Brother Desi, when you said capacity, do are you saying measure? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, ma'am. Is essentially that's uh, that's yeah. Yes, ma'am. That's okay. it. Sounds good. Amen. As wisdom. <laughs> Uh, some 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 answers require yes, no. Yeah. Or else you go out too far and then you muddy the water. We have a tendency to do that. We got to make sure we don't do that. All right. That's uh, a couple of them, but basically everything is done by getting primarily the word of God. Uh, uh, if the, the wisdom of God comes through the word of God by the self same spirit that's why it's important to get it ignorant Christians means they are not studying their Bible they're not understanding the word of God they're not being faithful when pressure comes they don't know what to do yes sir But okay. I, was, I was talking to someone. He said this ain't got nothing to do with it. What it probably, it probably oh, don't. Said, Everybody got to decide for themselves. Oh, but, okay. Yeah, but I was talking to a guy today, and something he wanted me to do, which I decided to do it. So he was getting happy that I was doing it for him. I, in return, tell him that I wasn't doing it for you. I'm doing it for me. So it's a lot of things that we benefit from. Is not for somebody else. It's for it's for you. It's not for the next person. It's for your benefit. Follow what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I think I understand okay. what you're saying. So, <clears throat> that. so I tell him personally, I'm selfish. I don't want you getting on my nerves. I don't want a problem out of you down the road. So, so you're doing I'm now doing, to get I'm do doing it for, for myself. I'm not doing it for you. So don't get happy about it. But you got to make sure they got understanding. Wisdom is the principal thing. I don't know. You ain't asked them. <laughs> no. 